good afternoon student according to the cost accounting here we uh, discuss about for the today's session the method of a cost accounting in the method of a cost accounting for today's session we discuss about the process costing now what is the exact meaning of the process costing process cost means nothing but to find out the cost of each product as a process wise now where you use the process costing process costing is used in a refinery companies paper mills food processing companies and a different kind of the companies where to manufacture a homogeneous goods what is the exact definition of the process costing how we define the terms of process costing the first thing process costing is a method second process costing means nothing to find out the cost of a each product as a process wise now what are the features of the process costing the first feature of the process costing process costing is a continuous in a nature it means that to purchase a product uh, to purchase a raw material then convert into the finished goods and then to finalize the goods for a selling purpose the second feature of a process costing is a it is a it is used for the homogeneous goods a goods where uh, the example of these goods is a sugar companies textile so for this organization process costing has been helping output of the one process become the input of the second process this is the next feature of the process costing in a process costing the output of the first process it is the input of the next process it means that suppose output of the raw material process it is the input of a working progress process and the output of the working progress process is the input of a finished goods parts the output of the last process is transferred to the finished stock account it is a next feature both direct and indirect cost are considered in the process costing if there is a stock of semi finished goods is the expense expressed in the terms of a equivalent unit in the process costing as consider the terms of a equivalent unit also in the process costing to find out the part of a normal output also in the process costing the main feature is a standardized process because of through the process costing goods are manufactured Uh, to find out the manufacturing cost as uh, accurately as well as the manufacturing process in a qualitative terms Co qualitative terms and the process costing the most important feature is uh, to determine the cost of the processes each processes is a step by step so these are the silent feature of a process costing now what are the advantages of the process costing we have to periodical determination of the cost process wise this is the most important benefit of the process costing it is simple and involve less critical work than the job costing in the process costing has very less work of a clerical it is easy to allocate the expense to processes in order to have a accurate cost the most important feature of uh, sorry advantages of the process costing is a to manufacture to find out the cost of the each product in a very less critical work as well as to find out the accurate value of a each product it is useful to preparation for tendering tender quotation also obviously it's a most important benefit of a process costing while finalization ya yeah, while filling up the tender part then that time process costing has been taking very initiative role on the basis of the process costing organization always are ready to for finalize uh, to fill the tenders of respect to other organization so these are the main important advantages of a process costing now when we understand the process costing part then we should be understand the some basic concepts also important terms also so out of these all important terms the most important terms is a normal loss in the process costing normal loss has the first part has the first things meanwhile the manufacturing part every organization has a some controllable losses this loss is known as a normal loss 
from the raw material up to the finished goods whatever the quantity of the raw material is will not be same for the finished goods mill while the manufacturing processes there are some raw material may be evaporated may be breakage may be scrap may be defective and may be loss in terms of a manufacturing part dear student normal loss means nothing but it is a compulsory reduction meanwhile the manufacturing process it is a uncontrollable loss it is a uncontrollable loss so this is the first part this is the first concept now we talking about the second important term that is a abnormal losses now the second term is a abnormal loss But student abnormal loss it is a controllable loss meanwhile the manufacturing process due to the machine break due to the electricity issue due to the strike of the employees due to the defective product problems no abnormal loss has been created by the organization but it is a controllable part of the organization if management or worker is decided so they can be avoid this kind of the loss and the last part it is a abnormal gain abnormal gain means nothing it is a capacity and caliber of the every employees whatever your input and if organ whatever your input more than input when organization manufacture the maximum output then that is a term of the abnormal gain dear student abnormal gain it's very simply find out the formula a value of the abnormal gain is a abnormal cost of the abnormal output into abnormal output into abnormal gain quantity so this is the formula for a abnormal gain so in the entire process of the process costing very first we should be understand here what is my the process costing what are the features of the process costing what are the advantages of the process costing and meanwhile the understanding this concept should be understand about the normal loss abnormal loss and abnormal gain also so this costing is very important for a manufacturing organization we have to manufacture a continuously homogeneous goods and this or this con method of a costing costing is very important for oil refinery organization paper mill textile and manufacturing of the homogeneous product organization also so in the today session here we discuss about the basic part of a uh, process costing and we understand the meaning of process costing feature of process costing advantages of process costing then basic term like normal loss abnormal loss and abnormal gain i hope you understand thank you so much